welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to teach you how to play chess. Before we get into this video, I want you to like, subscribe, and share this video. And today I'm going to teach you how to play chess. So in chess, we have a chess mat or chess board. Eight pawns, two rooks, two knights, two bishops, and a king and a queen. And it comes in black and white. So I'm going to teach you how the varieties and the moves of these chess pieces. So let's begin. Alright guys, so I'm going to teach you how to the move the pieces of chess. So the first one are the pawns. These are called the pawns. They come in black and white. So if you guys know how to play chess, the first thing that you know about chess is that white always goes first. And so, so pawns can only move one space. But there is an exception. If the on the pawn's first move, they can either move one or two spaces. Alright, and, and the goal of the game is to try to get your pawn to the center because this is because this is the most strongest point in the center. The strongest point. Alright, so I'm gonna and there's another and if you guys Pawns can move forward, but they cannot eat like that. They cannot eat like that. So, how pawns eat is that they can, can capture their opponent's pawns by only eating things diagonal. Alright, so I'm gonna also going to teach you how to use en passant. It's a, it's a French word for M. It's a French word for pass pawn. Alright, so how pass pawn works is that you see those two pawns right there. White can capture their pawn and black pawns move if it has already been moved. White needs needs on the row of five. For black, for black, it can capture it by do, if it's on the fourth row. And so that's how pawns move. And I'll pawns have an os has an has a special ability. Once it reach, all of them are on the other side. They can either be prom promote into a queen, a rook, a knight, or a bishop. The same thing is for it's the same thing as for black. They can promote to anything except for another pawn and a king. So, your point is try to make it to the other side of the board in order to promote. Alright, let's on to the next one. Alright, so the next one we're going to teach you is about the rooks or the castles. So, the rook and the castle, they can move anywhere that you want. They can either go sideways, forward, backwards, anywhere they want. But they cannot move when there's something is in their path. But they can eat their way into but they can capture anything that's in their path. But they cannot jump over other other spaces. Now that's would that be cheating? That's illegal. So the point these are very powerful. But they're not as powerful as the queen. So we're they can move anywhere that they want, but as long as nothing is in their way. All right, the next one we're gonna talk about is the knight or the horses. Knights can move in L shapes wherever they go. They can jump over any single piece. Like for example, see this thing? This thing is in its way. So it can either jump it can jump over any other pieces, but it's the only it's the only piece that can jump over any single space. Alright. Alright, the next one we're gonna talk about is a bishop. Alright, if you guys know what bishops are, they're kinda like little knights that protect the king and queen. So knights can move anywhere in diagonal. Can, 
can move any direction they want. But, like I said, with the rook, like I said, with with the rooks, they cannot move anywhere that's anything in its path. But if it's the opposite color, it can capture anything. But it has to be at the opposite color. It can move. It can eat anything in diagonal path. Same thing with white. It has to do that. All right, guys. So it's finally time for the royal couple, the king and the queen. So I'm gonna teach you how. First, I'm gonna teach you how to move the queen. So how to move the queen is that it can move anywhere that it wants. It can go. But the only rule is for the queen is that it cannot move like a knight. For the king, it's not very that powerful, but it's the most valuable thing. It can only move one space only, no matter where. Same thing with the black. All right, so the object of the game is trying to checkmate your king. If you guys don't know what checkmate means, it means that there's nowhere else for the king to go. All right, I'm gonna give you an example of checkmate. We'll be right back. All right, guys, so this is an example of a check. So you see that the checkmate. So this is, see, the king is cap is trapped. Since the queen can move anywhere, the king is not allowed to, eat to capture the queen. It's because the bishop is in its way. And the king cannot, and the king cannot move any space because the queen is going to capture it. And this is what you call checkmate. But if you see this, this is just only check. So when the, bis when the bishop isn't there, it just called check, so the king can actually eat the queen. So this is the difference between check and checkmate. All right, guys. So now I'm gonna teach you how to set up the board. And we'll be right back. All right, guys. So this is how you set up the board game. For white, it has to be on a one with a dark square. But for but for black, a eight is on the white square. So rooks start here, filling the back space. So. This is where the rook will start, and the other one will start here at h1. For black, a8 for black, and a1 and h8 for for the other one. So the next one is knight, knight or horse, no matter how you call it. So it can set set on b1 and g1 for white, and b b8 for black and g8 so the next one is bishop the bishop is set on c1 and f1 for white and the next one is c8 and f8 for black and then finally the king and the queen to tell to tell if the tell the colors of the king and queen where they're gonna place the queen for white had to the queen for white and black has to stay on the corresponding color, which means it has to be on D1 and D8. For the king, it has to be on the opposite color, which means it's E1 and E8. And the next is the pawns. The pawns fill up the second row from A2 to A8, A2, A2, and A7. That's how you set up the chessboard. All right, guys, so the next one I'm gonna teach you is some different tricks. So I'm, so there is a rule here. So this is one's called castling for black and white. So I'll be right back for the castling. All right, guys, as you can see, this is how you do castling. When there's nothing in the way or the king and queen, the king and rook haven't moved yet or the king hasn't been in checked or have passed ten move, or haven't been past ten moves. So this is how you castle. See, this is on the king's side, and this is on the queen's side. You can check on the king's side or the queen's side. So how to check how to castle on the king's side? Set to swap places. So the swap places is that the king will swap on their corresponding color, the corresponding color square had to move two spaces to that place and then your rook will also take two places on that side 
So we're gonna teach you how to how to castle queenside. So how to castle on queenside is actually the exact same thing, but you have to do it the opposite way. That's how you castle queenside. All right, guys, let me in the comments down below if this is the right way to castle on the queenside. If not, let me know in the comments down below. I don't really remember how to do castle on the queen side, so don't judge me. Same thing for black. Alright. So, I hope you like this video. If you did, smash that like button. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.